All right. I want to open up with this verse. This is uh, about why it's important to keep the, the law, statutes, and commandments. Why it's important to to make a sincere effort to be with the Heavenly Father and His Son and be one with Him. You know, people think that, you know, saved, sanctified, filled with Caesar Bozier. No. In, in reality, they're praying to demons and spirits. And some of these demons and spirits that they pray to, you know, work, you know, together with them. And those demons do things for them and then they think that they're praising the right God when you all you did you, you prayed to some demon that you know you could get this boyfriend and then you got him and you, you think that because you prayed to the name white Jesus that there's validity in that name because you granted you were granted that prayer you know demons can you know Respond to prayers too. You want something, a demon can be like, oh, "Okay, I, I got you." Cause you know, cause a prayer is you know a request. You could ask a, a demon for, uh, well, uh, what's I'm trying to think, cause I'm cause I'm not, you know, well versed in the occult. You know, I I've, I know a little bit just from studying, you know, and I know basically very, very surface level about it. But you can ask a, a, a demon for, and, and there's people who actually put uh, uh, spell curses and stuff like that. They go to psychic uh, mediums and stuff like that. But uh, you can ask a demon for, let's say, a, a new car. And that, that demon could actually present it to you. That's that's the funny part about it. You know, you could ask a demon, oh, I want to put a curse on this person. And, and a demon will actually go and do it. That's the, that's the funny thing about this. You know, how many people believe in this law of attraction stuff? Bullshit. That they put a thought out and the universe just brings it to them. That universe bullshit is a god. A goddess, shall I say, called Aditi. A-D-I-T-I. -I. It's a Hindu god. They, they believe that if they think something, they'll be able to manifest it from the universe. That's not how the Most High works. You know, then Yahweh Shai, Satan tell Yahweh Shai, all this I will give unto you if you bow and worship me. If you bow and worship these demons, they'll grant you stuff. You want to be able to make it rain? There's there's a demon that you can worship uh, that will grant you, I, I want to say, they all, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say that with 85% certainty. But uh, why do you think they was worshiping idols? Those demons, they, they, they go into these idols and ask for stuff. And those demons is be like, okay, I'm going to bless you for basically forsaking the laws of God. I'm going to reward you. I'm going to give you an incentive to break God's laws. You know, you, you uh, let's say you want to. You know, smoke weed and do shrooms. And then you, uh, 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 some type of uh, false idol can appear to you or some type of demons or demonic spirits, you know, and you hear that with NBs all the time saying that ancestors can't even talk to them. These are just demons. Demons that are actually responding to your prayers. Now let me start. I didn't talk actually. A little too long of an introduction. Without bringing on a precept. I should have. Uh, hit the point. A little uh, sooner. 
It says, uh, where was that? I just lost my place. Proverbs chapter 15, here it is, 15 to verse 29. Yahweh is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. Hear the prayer of the righteous. So who are the righteous? The Israelites who are following after God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's who the righteous are. And so in order to be righteous, you got to do what? Follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. In order to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments, you have to know what the laws, statutes, and commandments are. Meaning you have to read them. You have to follow them. You have to be disciplined. You have to be able to fight off demons and spirits that actually want to take you off of that course. You got to be able to, like, really, like, you have to shadow box preparing for these demons. You know, it's it's not just about, like, you go to a fight. You got a, a let's say, a fight for brothers who are in the fight. You go to fight, you know who you're going to fight, and you know if this person is southpawed. You know if they're orthodox. Uh, this is I'm specifically talking about boxing. Are they good uh, defense, bad defense? Do they got good footwork? Do they got poor footwork? Do they have uh, good power in both hands? Good power in one hand? Do they got power that don't know how to land it? Do they got speed and don't know how to use it? Do they got good strength and poor leverage? Or do they got poor leverage and, and good strength? Do they know how to tie up real good? All these things that you take into consideration. This person got stamina. And you take all this into consideration. And what do you do? You have a training camp. And you prepare specifically to fight that particular opponent. Well, you got demons. You have to know these demons well. And you have to shadow box and spar. And have hold a training camp on how to beat, defeat that demon. That spirit of, of lust jumps on you and all of a sudden you can't do a video well you need to know that spirit that demon that's putting it on you you need to know when he does it what times like he likes to do it you need to find out damn does this spirit of lust get on me you know right when i'm about to do a video does this spirit of lust get on me you know after i done ate after i done woke up after i had an argument you need to find out why like like the the questions and the curious questions you need to ask those and spend time trying to figure those questions out and that's how you figure it out how to basically prepare for the demons that you fight because he knows you well trust and believe that demon knows you like the back of his hand that demon knows that on a on a you can't go more than, than 10 days tops, you know, without, you know, uh, uh, going back and, you know, uh, uh, like that demon knows like you can't go more than 10 days without, you know, let's say, uh, it's not necessarily a sin, but let's say video games. And you do it excessively. You know, oh, okay, he can only go on it 10 days and he going to, you know, start binge watching, playing video games like crazy. Oh, I know I got him. You know, I, I can't, I can't, you know, tempt him too early. I know I got to wait to that certain threshold. You know, these demons know you perfectly. You have to know these demons and when they like to jump on you. And guess what? When you learn to defeat them demons, guess what happens? It's like the demons, they'll stop for a second and try to refigure you out and find another way of how to attack you. Man, I done had some, some, some legendary battles with some demons, man. And I'm still having legendary battles. I, I can't wait for this new heart and not having to fight off these demons. Because fighting off these demons can be a whole damn full-time job, man. Half of your day can be spent rebuking demons, honestly. But also at the same time, half of your day could be spent trying to invoke those spirits and actually give it in to those spirits and demons. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
man. This this truth is is is, is scary. The type of the type of demons the people in the world they deal with like weed smoking and man and, and 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 alcohol. We deal with different types of of demonic spirits and devils. You know, on that note, I hope it's been edifying. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hope this has been edifying. And I want to give all praises and glory to you. by Shibi Awashai, by Shimma Kakurash, Rakata, Devil Arnison, Elders of GMS, who rule well. Peace, salutations, and shalom.